Hi, and welcome to Math with Bill. I'm Bill, and in this video we're looking at the derivatives of trig functions. The one we're looking at this time is tangent function. Now, if you're doing trig derivatives, it's really important that you already understand a lot of trigonometry. Kind of makes sense, hopefully. Um, but remember that the tangent ratio is the opposite over the adjacent or it's equal to sine divided by cosine. That again is tangent. And we're going to use that and some previous calculus rules that you already know to help get to the derivative here of tangent. Um, we're going to do this because the limit definition is entirely too long. <laughs> um, it isn't, but since we've already established what the derivative of the sine and what the derivative of cosine is, this process becomes a little bit easier. Okay, so that's where we're going. So we want to take the derivative with respect to theta of tangent theta. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite it with an identity. Quotient identity of tangent is sine divided by cosine. So now I've got sine theta divided by cosine theta. And I want to take the derivative with respect to theta of this. And this becomes actually pretty easy because now we just have a quotient rule and we have the two functions that we already know the derivatives for. So let's apply quotient rule here. Okay, Quotient rule again is low d high minus high d low all over low squared or denominator times derivative of numerator minus numerator times derivative of denominator all over denominator squared. Okay, and that's going to be our formula here. So what we want is, we're expanding this now and taking the derivative. So we've got the denominator, which is cosine theta times the derivative of our numerator. Derivative of sine is cosine. And then we're subtracting our numerator function, sine of theta, times the derivative of our denominator. Derivative of cosine is opposites of sine. So times the opposites of sine of sine theta. Okay. And we'll come back and simplify this. And we're going to divide this whole thing by our denominator, or cosine theta, quantity squared, also known as cosine squared theta. So, let's take care of just a little bit of algebra. Because this is the derivative. We're done. That's the derivative. Now we need to simplify it. Because trig's also about having our most simplified piece. We're subtracting something that's being multiplied. We're really subtracting a negative here. So what I'm going to rewrite is cosine times cosine is cosine squared theta. And I'm no longer subtracting, but now I'm adding sine squared theta, and I'm dividing this whole thing by cosine squared theta. Again, cosine theta squared, uh, that quantity squared is the same thing as cosine squared theta. Before we take and split this off, there's actually a trigonometric identity that we have, cosine squared plus sine squared, or maybe you recognize it more as sine squared plus cosine squared. It's the Pythagorean identity which says that this quantity is actually equal to 1. So simplifying again, we now have 1 over cosine squared of theta, and 1 divided by cosine is secant. And so 1 divided by cosine squared is secant squared theta. So, in summary, the derivative with respect to theta of tangent theta is secant squared theta. Okay. We used what we already knew, and we're going to do that for the rest of these videos. Hopefully, you can follow along. See you there.